in strategic prayer and financing the wider spread of the gospel through Love World in these last days we're living in. There is a message that produces prosperity. If you don't listen to it, you can get it. What I ask you is this, you've been praying, but what have you done as proof that this kingdom is worth defending? You see, we can pray all we want to, but until we demonstrate in our giving, as though this kingdom is real and important, we've done nothing. We were delivered from the domain of darkness and translated into the kingdom of God's dear son. Where are you now in the kingdom of God's dear son? I live the kingdom life right now, right now, right now. That's why everything that comes to you, everything, your house, your money, everything, right from your physical body that was taken from this earth, everything that comes to you becomes kingdom property. That's why he told you, even your body is not yours. It was bought with the price. He bought the whole field and the field is the world. So everything that you contact becomes holified. You get it? Sanctified of God. So what is the job of the temple? What is the job of the temple? You are the temple of God, does the Bible say? What is the job of the temple? To sanctify the goal. Everything that's brought into the temple is different from things outside the temple. In connection with the temple, you are sanctified. Whatever is brought in there is sanctified. So when money comes to me, it ceases to be the central bank's money. It becomes kingdom money. Kingdom money for the propagation of the gospel. Until you recognize that, your money will not be different from the money of the sinners. And what happens to their money will happen to yours. But you want yours ever increasing because your faith is ever increasing. Remember what he's brought us to. A life of ever increasing glory, ever increasing faith. Come on! Ever increasing grace. This is what he brought to us. So your greatness never diminishes. Except you are not in this kingdom. If you're in this kingdom, your giving can never paralyze your whatever you have. You can never come to a finish point and say, well, I gave and gave and I don't have no more. Uh-uh. You have to understand what the word says. And this is why we're putting the word in the mouths of God's people all over the world. If we can put the word of God in your mouth and in your heart and you bring that word forth, Satan has no chance. You will win every time. You'll be victorious every time. So never forget it, these weapons are your words of faith proclamations. Yes, sir. And number two, your prayers of intercession. The third one is prophecies. You can see they're all in words. In the realm of the Spirit, after you have received the Holy Ghost, what pushes your words is the Holy Ghost. By my Spirit, saith the Lord. It is not by might, it is not by power, but by my Spirit, saith the Lord. When we speak, the Spirit of God carries those words. That's why he says, so shall my word be that goes forth, that launches forth out of my mouth. Ma, 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 it is a guided missile. It shall not return unto me without effecting my sakabaya. These moments of inspiration from the word stirred faith responses from the participants across the globe who 